so you're taking on the payday loan industry. What's the bill do and why is it important? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm refiling a bill this year uh, that will cap uh, interest rates at 36%. Uh, right now in Missouri, uh, the average rate is over 400%. Um, and so it really can trap uh, families in cycles of debt. Um, and so the 36% is uh, cap is modeled after a federal legislation that we have on the books now that protects active duty military. And so I would like to extend that to uh, veterans and to civilians. Um, and this bill um, is something that's also uh, been filed on the Republican side. So I've already had discussions uh, leading up to the beginning of session uh, with a Republican. Uh, Representative Lynn Morris is also filing uh, the same uh, cap uh, of 36%. And so um, I, I anticipate uh, that we'll work together um, and, and hopefully uh, get some momentum on this bill this year. Uh, one of your predecessors from Columbia, Representative Mary Still, tried this for several years. She <laughs> was not was ultimately unsuccessful. She got a lot of attention and um, was uh, from the payday loan industry and became one of their big enemies. Um, what's, wh what do you hope to do that gets beyond just that you know, maybe personal accomplishment of making some people who don't like mad. <laughs> well, you know, I think it's it's important um, for us to, to pursue this bill to help protect low-income families. Um, again, like I said, it's it's uh, I'm optimistic because we have um, a Republican in the majority that's also passionate about this, and so I really hope that we can uh, together work uh, across the aisle to get some momentum this year. All right, thanks.